Hello everybody, my name is Jalen Ford. I am a senior at Grambling State University and I'm a marketing major dance minor. A fun fact about me, I am in love with sushi. <laughs> so, why did I choose my HBCU? Well, to be completely honest, Grambling was not my first choice, which is normal. I chose Grambling because both of my parents went there. I'm actually a fourth generation to attend Grambling. But more specifically, I aspire to be a professional dancer and a world-renowned choreographer. I just plan to go to the top. So, Diane Maroney Grigsby, remember that name. Grambling is so, so honored to have her as a director over the Orquises Dance Company. She came from under Alvin Avery directly, so all of the information that she teaches us is secondhand. And I am so blessed that she came to Grand because she really should be in New York somewhere making people great, but she came to an HBCU to give back to her people, which is such an amazing thing, because I can only thank God for her. Okay, one more thing about HBCU, and I'm done. I'm gonna leave it alone. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead and pick two different schools, two completely different schools, and one of them being HBCU, clearly. To spend a day or two there at both colleges you choose and see where you feel more comfortable, see where you feel more at home, see what feels right. Because it'll hit you like no other, like you will never want to leave. That's how you know this is where I belong, they have a major I want, I feel like I can grow, I can spend the next four years here and I can come out being an amazing person, be happy with who I am. Just take your own word for it, don't take mine. What has been my biggest accomplishment while in college? Well, I can say that I'm definitely practicing the things that I want to do once I graduate now. I aspire to be a professional dancer and choreographer, world-renowned choreographer. I want to do the I want to choreograph the BET Awards, I want to go on tour, I want to do music videos, all of the above. For me to want to do the BET Awards, I'm already practicing. I've opened for Kevin Gates, Dej Loaf. I've opened for Jacquees, Party Next Door. And all of these artists came to Grambling State University for our Spring Fest events and our homecoming events. And I've been given opportunities to open up for them. And that is such a blessing to me because these are things I plan to do once I graduate. Like, once I'm done with school, I have enough time to go on huge tours and all of that. And I get to practice right now, like, all my do's and don'ts and, ooh, my ideas and this, that, and third. I want to choreograph music videos. There was an artist that came to campus and was asking who were one of the best dancers on campus and who would be great for this project. And everyone that they asked said me. And I'm like, really? He's a Nigerian artist, his name is Fire. He goes by Fire. He just, our first hit was Sweet Love and it was filmed on Grambling's campus. Please go see it, it's amazing. Um, he made me his official choreographer so every time he has a music video, I'm the first one he hits up. And first of all, let me say, that is how relationships start because there are many artists that started with choreographers when they first came up and now when they blew up so did the choreographer and they stuck together and they grew together and the fact that i just found mine in college once i graduate we plan to be on bigger and better things i'm talking about world tours so to sum all of this together I'm so thankful I get to practice my profession while I'm in college. Because once I graduate, I'm hitting the ground running. What was one of my biggest obstacles and how did I overcome it? Well, being in college, the hardest thing is staying on task. And that means being like this. All of that, all of them apply. 
you go to college for an education honestly understand why you're going to college don't just go because you believe it's the American dream going to college you're open to so many new things and you're open to so many new people personalities and parties and it's a great experience whether you're at an HBCU or anywhere else but when it comes to schoolwork are you finishing your work are you turning things in on time are you in class all the time are you there on time like regardless of whatever else you have going on are your academics straight now, I am a part of the Orquesis Dance Company, and we have practiced more than any other sport on campus. And that includes Sundays, that includes all day, like after four o'clock in my schedule, that's devoted to dance. So I have to make sure that all of my classes are before four o'clock, so I can devote my time to dance from four to whenever we get out of practice. But you have to be proactive. Finish your work in class. If you have time, if your teacher is okay with you doing that, if your professor is okay with you doing that, do your homework in class. Do your homework early. Do not wait for the last minute because there's always going to be a party you want to go to. There's always going to be a probate or there's always going to be something else going on that you're going to want to go to. And you're not going to want to miss. But handle your business first and that will take you a long way. Because building your habits, your college habits right now, will determine what kind of person you really will be in the real world. Would you tell others to go to an HBCU? If so, then why? Yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. It's so many different experiences that you will get from an HBCU that you will not get from anywhere else. I'm pretty sure that you have heard uh, from many people that the people that you meet in college are your lifelong friends or your lifelong relationships. Well, at HBCUs, you build relationships by the first day you get there. Like, it could be as simple as your roommate. It could be as simple as the person who helped you in financial aid. HBCUs, I believe, are more hands-on. And we always give back to our people. We always give back to the HBCUs because we believe in growth. And we believe in our younger generations overcoming anything and everything they believe they can. HBCUs have a different judge of how they bring up people, men and women. Um, and it's crazy 